Hello everyone and welcome to my Bitcoin speculation videos. First of all, thank you very much to Bill for his 0 0.05 BTC donation. Sorry it's taken this long to recognize you, but I didn't forget you buddy. Bitcoin wise, the price hasn't changed in two months. Let's just ignore this mess down here and focus on this win right here. I'm kidding, but yes, that's right. New all time highs from 2013. Congratulations to those who accumulated in the stagnation of 2014 and 2015. Looking at the price action now, here we can see a sort of magnetic attraction to the 1150 to 1200 price range. While there was a parabolic increase in the Bitcoin price in the very beginning of 2017, this collapsed with the closing of margin positions on very cheap, indeed free credit. Successive decreases in price have been news triggered, but quickly bought back. Remember this long term trend line from Look Ahead 13? Roughly $2 a day? Extrapolated out, we have several support contacts in both mid to late January and mid February, so we know this line is still in play. Indeed, during the People's Bank of China formal investigation announcement on January 11th, the price broke through this trend, rose back to and retested the same in both directions. While historical trends cannot be trusted as gospel, this does provide the active trader some confidence that price action below this trend line is very favorable to accumulate for a longer position instead of a position above $1100 where the trader may be more reliant on the greater full theory. Remember, you're buying low, selling high. You decide the time frame for your trade. There are a few ways I can interpret the volume here. In the past two months, we've observed many short-term peaks and higher lows on a longer period or trend. These trends which have only broken through with the catalyst of news. It's poor form to draw a trend with only two data points, but with this very short-term rebound, it gives us the second data point to generate the slower, higher low trend. We need more data to confirm this trend and a second short-term peak to provide us with the possible channel breadth. It may very well be this lower zone, in which case we'll see increasing volatility, but if technical analysis is pseudoscience, this would be modern art. Back to the old favourite, the Bollinger Bands. After a lower high with a long candle wick top, we see the four hour Bollinger Bands coming in together for a period of consolidation. From what I've seen on these marked support and resistance levels, it's forming a symmetrical triangle where the middle zone may be a new support around $1200 in quarterly futures. However, that would mean this 4 hour candle is a failed breakout so we may see a retest of support at $1100 and further consolidation in a $100 ranging market, judging by the present angle of attack of the top band. A steeper curve indicates that the market has transferred from a volatile to a more stable position. This lip here indicates a likely ranging market. Overall, and this isn't going to be a popular opinion, I'm a little bearish here, but not enough to take a short position. With the daily Bollinger Bands so wide and so far away from the shown long term support trend, this isn't a spot I would buy for a long position. It's a significant gamble, and more fear of missing the train. With this possible consolidation pattern, it's safe to move up the stop from your lower long position and wait for a dip before buying more Bitcoin. Looking at upside potential of 1250 without a news catalyst. Speaking of news catalysts, a surprising upset in the fight for protocol dominance in Bitcoin, with Bitcoin Unlimited surging past segregated witness in percentage of mined blocks briefly on the 4th of February. This is amid pressure from the expanding network continuously hitting the artificial 1 megabyte transaction block size, with the average block size, confirmation time, and mempool active transaction counts all rising significantly. With this limit, the average transaction fee to be included in the next 6 blocks is 40 cents, in the next 3 blocks 50 cents, and this is the low of the price range. A new solution and consensus must be found quickly to avoid the fees spiralling out of control from higher than a credit card transaction, 20 cents to 35 cents, to higher than Western Union at $5. Oh, and one more thing, March 11th. Every Bitcoin speculator, investor or developer worth their salt has this date marked in our calendars. Following several years of SEC filings and delay on judgment rulings, the decision on the Winklevoss coin ETF will have to be made by March 11th. The ETF, if approved, will allow the mom and pop investors to diversify their portfolio into cryptocurrency easier than endeavouring into new technology, with a none to them safeguards, transactional methods, etc etc. This takes it out of the sphere of enthusiasts and into the greater space. 
with pundits on BitMEX betting roughly a 34 to 41% approval possibility it would be the underdog winner, but stranger things have happened with both the underdog US presidency and British financial policy. Well, I think that just about wraps it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching and cheers. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.